Okay. So now I'll just start here. I'm gonna do all my SM Entertainment slash JYJ albums, except for Super Junior. My Super Junior stack is actually as like higher than my SM Entertainment stack. Big stack. Uh, Girls' Generation third album, The Boys. This album I bought. 60% for the songs, 40% for the really cool packaging. <laughs> like, I really like The Boys. I didn't like it first listen, but I really like The Boys. Other songs on this album are okay. I'm not a big fan of SNSD's Korean stuff. I like their Japanese stuff more. So yeah, and then we have their first Japanese album, Korean edition. I bought 100% for the songs, 0% for packaging, which is why I got the Korean version, because it was like $15 or something. You get a little photo book with it too. Girls' Generation is releasing their second Japanese album. I might actually spend more than $16 on that. Some of their Japanese um, singles have been really good. Chinese, Lucifer. This is the only album like this I own because I hate this packaging. If we open this up, I have ripped where the CD is, because I was downloading the songs and then I put it, my CD back, and it just ripped, like, I was so pissed. And it doesn't hold the CD very well at all. I love this album, came with the photo card, didn't unbox it, just realized I haven't been doing that. Next we have Shiny Sherlock, and I got the only version, literally, like, the day after I pre-ordered this album, they told me, oh, there's five different ones. I remember from K-pop town, so I found out through K-pop town, and Yes Asia was like, "That's too bad for you." But I love Onu's photos the most, and so I don't even care. Come to the photo card, didn't unbox it. Songs are good. I just don't like. They did Sherlock, and then they did the two parts of Sherlock, like the other two songs that are in Sherlock, and I don't like it because it's like you're listening to the same song three times in a row. Next we have. XOK and XOM's Mama, Korean release. Uh, came with the photo card, didn't unbox them. Actually, I did, but it wasn't an official unboxing because I bought them a while ago. I love EXO. I really want them to come back again this year. If either of them or BAP win, like, I don't even care because I love them both. And then we have the Chinese release, which comes with two photo cards each, a group photo card, and which is smaller than the Korean release group photo cards and like a solo shot photo card. So I love this because you know you're getting a member. I don't like group photo cards as most you know. So I really liked that. Photo book's the same in this. This is pretty much the same. I unboxed these. You can go and check out what happened. I have traded both of my group cards from this for other photo cards. JYJ's In Heaven, Black Edition. So yeah, love this album. Very good photo book. Um, yeah. TVXQ's Keep Your Head Down Normal Edition. This came with a photo card. I do not have an unboxing of this. I am planning on buying Catch Me. I want the red one because I have the black in heaven. So I think it would be cool to kind of have like black and red because there was a red in heaven also. So yeah, um, eventually when I get money, probably at the end of October, my two db5k dvds this is best selection 2010 which is was released right after the breakup my dad bought it for me dvd2 is a karaoke section and the first one is like a mashup of their first through fourth tours like they play all the songs and they show different shots from like each tour i think it's pretty cool and then this is the third live tour of t special edition i love this i watch it when i go on long airplane flights now let me show you Super Genie. This is the highest stack I have. First album. Did buy it late, but yeah. Love this album. I love how much Itook sings in this album. One of them is Toki. Next we have fourth album, which my dad bought when he bought me the three DVDs. Like I wasn't expecting so much stuff when he went to China. Or I know it's illegal because the packaging is different and there are random songs from the third album and from Super Junior M album and Super Junior T album. It's just a bunch of random songs, but it has all the fourth album songs, so I was okay with it. Fourth album, version B. This is official. Um, there was a photo card in this album. I did not unbox it. I will show you who I got. 
when I do my photo card collection. Fourth mini album version C, this is actually the first K-pop album I ever bought with my own money. Did not come with a photo card. Most Super Junior repackaged albums don't come with photo cards. I actually don't know of one that came with photo cards. Or maybe Super Junior M, but I don't own any Super Junior M albums. It's my goal for next year. My goal again this year is to have at least version A of the second and third album as well. I'll show you my really big Super Junior albums at the end because they're all on the bottom right now. So this is version B, the fifth album. Came with a photo card. Actually, you had two copies of this at one point, but I gave one to my friend. Version C, or the repackaged album, Acha. Heechul's last album with group. No photo card, it came with a bunch of little cards that were on the wall in my old room, but are not on the wall on this room. I just don't wanna put them up right now. Next we have Opa Opa. Um, Japanese CD slash photo booklet four page thing came with a photo card I believe it still does I am currently in the process of trying to trade it away for another photo card which I won't say it, what it is the two member card so it's like a group card I have a Dong Hae and an Unhyuk photo card I don't really I don't know which is kind of taking up space so I'm trading it away for something I actually want and we have two version b's of um sexy free and single click on this it'll lead you to an unboxing of version b and version a this is exactly the same as version a except for the photo cards are different i bought it so i would get kongin's photo card because i didn't get it in the first in version a and i did get his photo card in one of these i got unhook in the other my luck was really good that day now we have version c we have spy which i have unboxed so go ahead and click on this very impressed with this this photo book is huge and it's like a really good behind the scenes photo book just getting their makeup done hanging out in the room i don't know i just really really like it this is a little sturdier than the fourth album repackage and the fifth album repackage from someone who moved across the country and was afraid of their albums getting damaged i thank you my 17th birthday present um, my friend got me this, Super Show 3 photo book. She thought this CD or DVD was in here too, but it's not. Um, this is an amazing, amazing photo book. I love this photo book. And it came with a special gift, a bunch of postcards. But in order to get them apart, you have to cut them. I don't have any cutting skills, guys. Or I have very minimal cutting skills. Alright, next we have Sexy Free and Single version A. Um, silver edition. I did not choose my color because I really didn't even care. I like the gold one though. I like this one and I like the red one. So I was kind of happy I got this one. This is the one my friend who was not allowed to buy this album. This is the color she wanted. I have this at the end because it holds up all my albums. I have two um, Super Junior Fit albums. I have Donghae's version and Kyuhyun's version. And um, there's a story behind that. If you want to know, leave me a comment in the description and I'll like type it out because I don't really want to say it because my voice is dying right now. So yeah, that is all of my K-pop collection. That's it, like all of it. But I have three more albums coming. They will be shipped out after the Chunsook holiday in Korea. So like next week like it just is coming out that time <laughs> so um yeah shiny stassling girl i got version b because i didn't want the dvd yeah and so yeah i have other albums coming i will do unboxing of those and probably after homecoming for me is on october 20th and after that i have decided to let myself buy more albums but i have lost i've spent quite a bit of money on k-pop albums lately so i'm trying to hold out i stopped last time about something was like september 15th but then i will be buying you kisses top girl for sure tvxq either the um like i said the red version or the repackage depends on if the repackage comes with a photo card because i want to use a photo card and then xo should be coming back soon i think looking at my calendar right now that's what i'm looking at that's my homecoming right here. I don't have school that day. This day for me is when Epic High's new album comes out. 
Um, but, so while my mom's in, I will be doing a room tour. My room is actually really big, and I have the video saved from my old room tour, so I will be able to kind of like compare how things were there. I don't want to show you too much. Um, so I'll have that coming out. Photo card collection, three more unboxings in a couple weeks. And yeah, that's all I've got for you right now. <laughs> um, yep. Okay. Bye.